Let's get one thing straight from the start. The Big Bang was not a big explosion. The name is a bit of a misnomer, a catchy phrase that stuck. An explosion happens at a specific location in space and expands outward into that space. But the Big Bang was different. It was the beginning of space itself. It was an event that happened everywhere at once because the entire universe, all of space, was contained within that initial, infinitesimally small point. It was the rapid, ongoing expansion of space itself, carrying matter and energy along for the ride. Imagine a loaf of raisin bread dough rising in an oven. The raisins are like galaxies. As the dough expands, every raisin moves away from every other raisin. A raisin on one side of the loaf sees all the other raisins moving away from it, but there is no center to the expansion within the dough. The expansion is happening everywhere. In the same way, from our vantage point in the Milky Way galaxy, we see other galaxies moving away from us. This is not because we are at the center of the universe, it is because the fabric of space itself is stretching, everywhere. This idea of an expanding universe has profound consequences. If the universe is getting bigger today, it means that yesterday it was smaller, and the day before that, it was smaller still. If you run the cosmic movie in reverse, all the galaxies come rushing back together, you rewind past the birth of stars past the formation of atoms all the way back. As you go further back, the universe gets not only smaller but also hotter and denser. All the matter and energy we see today, spread across billions of light years, was once squeezed into an unimaginably hot and dense state. This is the core concept of the Big Bang. It is not a tale of how something came from nothing. It is a description of how our universe evolved from a state of extreme heat and density into the vast cool and structured cosmos we inhabit today. The theory tells us about the how and the when of this transformation. It is a story of expansion and cooling. Let us dial the clock back to the very beginning, to the first fractions of a second after the expansion began. At this moment, the universe was a searingly hot dense plasma, a chaotic soup of fundamental particles and pure energy. The temperature was trillions upon trillions of degrees, far hotter than the core of our sun. In this extreme environment, matter and energy were interchangeable converting back and forth, according to Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. The familiar particles we know today, protons, neutrons, could not yet hold together. It was a time of pure, unbridled cosmic energy. As space expanded, it cooled. This cooling was the most important thing happening in the early universe. Within the first microsecond, the universe had cooled enough for the fundamental particles, quarks gluons to bind together and form the first protons and neutrons. These are the building blocks of atomic nuclei. For the next few minutes the entire universe was like a giant nuclear fusion reactor.